So we have two statement variables, p and q, and we're going to look at something called the disjunction of p and q. So the disjunction, it's a fancy word, of p and q. So it's written as follows. It's p or q. That's how you read it, p or q. And this will be true when at least one of uh, P or Q is true. So at least one of these has to be true. So if P is true, uh, this whole statement is true. If Q is true, this whole statement is true. If they're both true, the whole statement is true. And this will be false only when they're both false. Let's go ahead and really make that more concrete by looking at a simple truth table. So we have P, we have Q, and then here we have P or Q. And so let's list all the possible truth values that we can have. Um, well, a simple case would be when they're both true. So P is true and Q is true. And in this case, at least one of them is true, and so that would mean that P or Q is also true. So this would be true. As long as one of these is true, uh, P or Q is also a true statement. What about the case when P is true and Q is false? Well, same thing. P is true, so that satisfies the condition that at least one of these is true. Therefore, P or Q is true. And uh, another case would be when P is false and Q is true. So this would still be true because in this case Q is true and that satisfies the condition that at least one is true. A lot of times when people think about or, uh, or means, um, you know, one or the other or both. And that's exactly what's happening here, right? You have, in this case here, the second case, you have one is true. The P is true. In this case here, you have the Q is true. And in the first case, you have both are true. So as long as one or the other or both are true, then P or Q is true. It's a nice way to think about it. And the last case is when they're both false. And this is the only case that the disjunction will be false. In this case, P or Q is false. Let me go ahead and draw my little lines here to make it look like a better truth <laughs> table. So P or Q is true when at least one of uh, P and Q is false. So again, it's true if P is true, if Q is true, or if they're both true, then this entire statement is true. The only time it's false is when they're both false. I hope this video has been helpful.